Hi everyone, Waxfraud here, and welcome back to episode 12 of the Hardcore Minecraft Let's Play series. Man, let's get into it. We have a lot of stuff to do today, and first things first, I was thinking, I was actually just thinking about stuff that we haven't done yet. I'm gonna take a look at the frogs and see how they're doing. I haven't seen them in a couple of days. This is what we did on the last episode here. By the way, worked on this a lot on stream. It's twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Come by anytime we do stream every single day. But yeah, we ended up getting uh, the rest of the decoration done in here on stream. I always, I always come back with a lot of, like, ideas that I didn't think of during the video and while I'm live, I know we shoot the ideas back and forth with chat, and it's it's always beneficial. Frogs really seem to be liking this place, though. We have a lot of frogs in here. And it's just it's just nice and cozy. I love having these nice and cozy builds. And I love having a purpose for all the animals. It just have, having a home for all of them, it just makes this world feel nice and home-like for everybody. But thinking about the things that we haven't done yet, I mean, we have a giant mob farm right here. We have a panda sanctuary right here. We have a giant tunnel made out of frog lights that leads to our frog light farm. We have like 50 frogs here too. It's, it's, it's absolutely nuts. We have so many frogs in this world. And a whole frog light farm set up, man. I mean, we have, how do we have this done? And have an underwater tunnel, a secret underwater tunnel that is, that goes all the way to the other side of the pond. But uh, one thing that we do not have is a beacon. And I'm staring at a one wither skull. I'm staring at a two wither skeleton skull. Turn at a, that's a, that's three wither skeleton skulls, dude. Let's. Uh, I think we need to get a beacon right here, right now. Give me my soul sand. I need this for the wither. And let's uh, let's grab some eggs because uh, we need some wither roses. And this time the chickens are not going to cause the death. We're going we're going to be chill about it. We're just we're going to be chill. Now on the last series, you might remember that uh, I got a little bit too close to the explosion, and uh, when the wither spawned in, I, I exploded. So uh, that that ended the series. So that's not going to happen in this series. We're we're going to make sure that that doesn't happen. I have the totem in my hand, and I also have two totems with me that I'm going to put in my hot bar just in case anything goes wrong. Because I don't know what happened last time. I've never died to the wither before until that last hardcore series, but uh, I died to just the explosion. Pretty sure this will be nice, quick, and easy. All we have to do is shoot it with the arrow. Until it's at half health and then smack it with the sword a couple times and it's all good. Now it's time to get all these chickens in here. Hopefully we get a bunch of wither roses. Your sacrifice is all in good name. Thank you chickens. We do appreciate it. Alright, well, here goes nothing. I'm going to do this. Bada bing, bada boom, and bam. Let's back far away this time and then we will start fighting the wither. This guy is going to blow any second. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, his explosion got me from all the way back here somehow. I'm gonna keep shooting. I'm gonna keep shooting. I'm gonna keep shooting. I'm just gonna keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Oh god, he's extra mad. Just get him with the sword. 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 Ah, uh, three, two, three, two, one. He's done. The Nether Star. It awaits. Dude, that was insane. These guys are always just, always so intense. Well, hey, guess what? Uh, we did that without dying, dude. Not, uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's grab the wither roses. And we only got two? Wait, we only got two wither roses from that? Where'd the rest of them go? Grab me some diamonds, too, while we're at it. Might as well. Let's make a quick beacon right here, and boom. Setting this up on a little field right behind town here. I haven't started uh, building really anywhere on this part of town yet, but soon we will. I'm gonna flatten this area out. I was doing this a little bit on stream, taken a while, and that's kind of what inspired me to get go ahead and get this beacon. The beacon. It is going. Let's go. Okay, so let's uh, let's load you up in here. Let's get a little bit of haste two going. Ah, uh, yes. Haste two. Put it on me. All right, let's go. What does it do? It does everything. This is amazing. Uh, why did we wait so long? I don't know, man. We're on day, what, what day are we on? 1,684. Oh, man. Almost day 1,700. Now we're getting a beacon. That is, uh, oh boy. Well, at least we got one. Better late than never. So over here is looking pretty flat. I'm gonna get it ready to probably take out a bunch of these oak trees, and uh, we can probably build something over here now. We have a nice landscaped area. Finally, this area has been totally unusable for the past 11 episodes, but now we got something going on over there. And now that we're flying over here, I moved the beacon. We have uh, the other landscaping project up right behind the frog sanctuary and the terraced farms. There's actually, after I took out all these trees, an exposed cave down here. Now this might be connected to the other little ravine. If you take a little right here, I think it, oh, okay, never mind. This is actually a way bigger cave than I originally thought. And there are creepers just chilling right there. I heard a creeper fall just right below me right there. 
I'm gonna go back down in though. Let's take a little look this way. Actually, it looks like everywhere is pretty much infested with mobs. Not really so much, it's just like a tiny little hole down there. Honestly, considering just kind of plugging this hole, I don't really think I'm gonna need that for anything. We could build something down there, I guess. We could build like a nice stairway. Well, you know what? Let's not fill it up completely. Maybe make it more of a circular hole, but um, we'll find a use for this eventually. I won't plug it up. And I honestly just, I'm, I'm just so baffled it took me so long to get this. It's just, it's mind bottling how quickly you can gather so much stone. Now, I think we've picked up at least like four barrels worth of stone here, which is not too bad. And before you know it, this entire place has been landscaped. Now we just need to bone meal. Oh my God. Oh, damn, dude. Why do these guys keep popping up? You guys know what's going to happen. You already know what's going to happen. I'm going to make you kill your captain. I'm going to jump around in circles until you kill your own captain. Oh, you guys better not shoot my dog. Hold up. Shoot, shoot, shoot your captain, please. I just got to go over here. The captain, for some reason, is in the middle. Now the captain is in the front. This is what we want. And the captain has gone down. That is all it takes. Now, all these dudes, are you going to keep... This is just going to keep shooting each other. This is amazing. Come on, guys. Yep, take each other out. Sleep. You know what? You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. There you go. And the pup lives. This is amazing. A couple arrows almost hit the pup. That would have been... That would have been not good. I mean, it wasn't good for them either way. Coming up back to the frog sanctuary. Going to land right on the flag. Ouch. But, uh, yeah, looking nice and flat over here. This is great. That little hole... I'm gonna build something in there. I'm not sure what that. Uh, we're gonna put a port over here. I'm pretty sure eventually a nice big castle, and actually something. Oh man, this is so nice now that this is a big flat area. I can't wait to put a build here, man. But yeah, now that we have that done, there is something else I wanted to show you. We have the beacon moved over here for a reason. Oh my god, all these dog, all the iron golems have just moved into the dog pile, and they're just spreading the dog. There's a dog all the way up into the building. We honestly, yes, we we have too many dogs. We we need to do something about the dogs, and that's what we're gonna do today. We are gonna make a dog sanctuary. It just it just needs to happen. But walking over here. I'm going to show you the brand new build. Actually, you know what? Let's take a nap first. And then we will go right down here. No one has made it down here yet. I still need to get the villagers down here. But we have an underground library. This was done in long play. I'm sure if you guys watched it, thank you for watching it. I appreciate you for checking out the long plays. But yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a bunch of villagers move down in here. I have 24 spots available for a bunch of different types of trades. I'm going to get them all down in here. I already have three villagers that are librarians that I just need to move down here, and then I'll probably end up moving about 20 more of them down here so that we can get a full library. But this place is nice and cozy. I like the moss roof, the, uh, the checkered patterned oak and spruce on the floors, as well as the shroom lights for an abundance of lighting. And as far as the dog sanctuary goes, uh, let's, I almost barely made it out of there. Let's pick a spot. I did, I mean, we have a nice new spot back here. I could take out these oak trees right here, and it's raining. Of course it's raining. It always rains when I try to record. Maybe building a nice little dog sanctuary over here next to Daniel and Daniel's friend. What's up, Daniel? What's up, Daniel's friend? How you guys doing? It's been a while since I said what's up. I think if we kind of just took down some of these trees, flattened this land out, we might be able to get something cool. Probably on the beach over here. Actually, you know what? I think that is what I'm going to do. I actually, let's just let's clear this land out. At least make it an, an option. Oh my god. We have one beehive right here that I'm taking out. And then actually right here, we have another beehive. I wonder how many beehives we have right here. This build's going to be a little bit different. I know I do want... I'm probably just going to start right here just to maybe get a nice little layout of what I want the square to be. It's going to be more of a square... Probably like more of a plus sign. I kind of like the plus sign design on a lot of the builds that we've been doing lately. Except this time, I think what I'm going to do is kind of pillar up on a couple of these. We'll go up uh, just by... I'm not even sure how tall this is going to be, but just for now, we'll go up by about nine. And space it up by about three each. And I don't even know if we'll keep these. We'll take these out. I just wanted to have some pillars. So one, two, three, and then pillar up. One, two, three, pillar up. Honestly, most of the building for this build is going to be done on stream, so if you want to, again, it's twitch.tv slash waxfraud, feel free to join us anytime. I know a lot of people do request that the, like, the replay mod gets used on this channel, but I, I really do just enjoy being live with chat and building um, a lot more than just kind of doing the, the replay of, of me building the whole thing back. And I take too long to build all these anyway, so you wouldn't want to watch my replay mod. We're going to line the edges up with a little bit of flowering azalea bushes. And what's one of the builds here on this world without the chain into the lantern action coming out of the wall from the fence? Ah, man. We, got it. we have to use this on every build. You guys know that. I have some end rods here as well, and I kind of wanted to use them just because, you know, like, since we have them, we've popped a lot of the coarse fruit, and we've got a lot of blaze rods, so we might as well use the resources that we have while we have them. Let's go ahead and put some end rods right here. I kind of like that. Ever since we put them on the frog sanctuary in the last episode, feel free to check that out if you haven't. Uh, but ever since we put them on there, I've been really liking the combo of a little bit of lantern action, a little bit of end rod action here. 
I'm gonna do this in the entrance as well. Probably gonna do this also just because if we did the wall into the fence, into the chain, into the lantern action, probably wouldn't be able to walk through here. And actually, as you can see, we put an oak and spruce checkered floor just like we did with the library underground there. And we haven't used, we haven't moved these beehives yet, but we will. It is pretty well lit in the center room here, but I did want to go ahead and see if we could try to get the middle up here lit up as well. I don't know if this is going to end up working out. We could try the change into the lanterns. Um, we could, yeah, I mean, we could have the end rods going down, or actually, I do have an idea. We could get some shroom lights, pack some of these up into the inventory. Let's actually go to the middle. We could actually use this as a centerpiece to go up. Not a terrible idea because then we have the center completely lit. We don't ever have to worry about that. We can go up here if I can. Oh, we did it. Nice. Going back down though. What does that look like? Honestly, that looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm willing to just take the rest of what we have here out. Now, as you can see, we do have a second floor. It's pretty much the same as the bottom floor, except we are going to be using the uh, chain into the fence, into the wall uh, with the end rods on this, just because uh, I mean, we don't have to worry about running into them as much as the first floor. We're not going to be up here as much. I thought it'd be a little bit different as well. Plus, we're just going to put stuff right here. The same thing that we did on the first floor with uh, the lanterns here we're gonna put the chain oh my god that was a completely that was just that's not where the chain needs to go uh but it's gonna be there for right now because i can't reach that now if i can jump over on the scaffolding here i don't know what is gonna go on the tippy top here i might have to uh think about this i might just build like a big dome in the middle go in a circle or we build up oh, that was an accident or we keep building up with the shroom light here and uh we can build the tower up a little bit taller with a nice little pyramidal roof or at least just like a, a roof that looks like the roofs that we've been building oh my god these pandas i actually completely forgot about these guys they actually are exposing themselves right now i brought them back to the village back in like episode five or six i brought them all the way back I lured them all the way back, and now they are... Oh, that that building looks kind of nice from all the way back here. It's very different, very dark compared to the other very mangrove builds. But these pandas here, man, they are... There's there's like five or six of them back here, and they have just made them themselves like at home all the way back here. Speaking of pandas, I feel like we gotta go say what's up to John in the Panda Sanctuary. It's been a couple episodes. Let's go say what up to our buddy real quick. John, where are you at? My dude. Hey, what's up, dude? You, are you friends with John? Because uh, you're in the way, for sure, if that's what, if that's what you are. John, my guy, right front and center. What is up, my dude? How you been? Let's get, you know what? Let's get you some bamboo. Chop that down for it. Yep, eat up, dude. Scrum diddly umptious. Back to the build, though. And oh, wait, actually, I didn't, uh, I see right here, I didn't put any of these gates right here. So let's go ahead and put these in. That's actually how I'm adding a little bit of extra detail to the side so it's not too much deep slate. But jumping back on the sky. Oh, ouch, dude. Jumping back on the scaffolding, though, we're going to go to the tippy top. Start the build. I think I wanted to go more of a square instead of a dome, so I'm going to hop over here. Actually, now that I see this chain, let's take this chain needs to go, man. But the chain is 100% gone. I kind of want to, like, this doesn't have to be a lighthouse, but it could be something that, like, represents a lighthouse. Um, let's just 100% get a shape going so that we know at least what we're doing. Ended up going with sort of a more circular design up here on the top. We're going to close this off with a little bit of deep slate. Go ahead and make a circular roof as well as add the spruce fences and the chains to the sides here to kind of put in a little bit of accent on the walls. Going to try building up with a little bit of spruce on the wood here, but we're going to outline it with a little bit of deep slate just in case. I would like this to, I don't know, I, I think I think the outline with the, with the darker materials just, I don't know, makes it pop a little bit more. Stairs at the top and a couple trap doors at the top. We'll go down. We'll decorate with a couple more trap doors here. And then obviously we're going to put more stairs. Roofs actually, they, they turn out to be a little bit easier than you think. Um, just don't overthink it. Just put, decorate it with a couple trap doors with a couple stairs and you're kind of, you're good to go. And bada bing, bada boom. Let's take a flight out. I just want to see what the roof looks like real quick from out yonder. And I, you know what? That's not that bad. I like it. A little bit different from the other roofs, but it also keeps that same style. I'm obviously going to put a flag on top, but that's going to come a little bit later. I have the bone meal out right now because these bees, once they go away, I think they actually just did go away as soon as I got back out here. We'll take that right now. We'll go in here. We'll take that one out too. I actually just wanted the bone meal up in here and just make it nice and cozy for the dogs before they moved in. Oh, whoa, the bees are right. The bees are... Oh, man, this guy is still out. That is uh, not good. Let's let's get, his, uh, let's get his beehive back up. The bee. Dude, he flew so far. I just have to... All right, I'll get a tree up over here. I'm pretty sure there's a birch tree in here. We'll just get the bee's nest 
right here. That's going to be A-OK. -okay. And for right now, I'm just going to put this one back right here. Please come back, dude. Just come back. <laughs> Let's pretty this place up with some flowers. We got the rose bushes. We got the peonies. We got the lilacs. We got everything we need. Uh, before the dogs move, can move in, I just wanna, you know, wanted to make this look nice. I actually forgot that while we were landscaping everything all the way over there with the uh, the new beacon, I ended up getting a bunch of coal. And I need to mend this shovel because we ended up getting a lot of glass. Not only because we were running out of glass to do stuff like this, but to f like the underwater tunnel took up a lot of glass. The nether highway took up basically the rest of our glass on stream. And uh, but we have a lot of this coal right here to help the mending of the shovel luckily looks absolutely gorgeous from up here this town is growing so much i man, i'm loving this and in case anyone's only oh, this guy's beaten up but in case anyone's wondering the reason why my voice has just gone a little bit is i i am a little bit sick uh nothing too much to worry about but oh oops that was an accident nothing too bad like nothing too much to worry about but yeah my voice is gone a little bit i am trying to muster through it i'm trying to uh get my voice to recover a little bit before recording but unfortunately this is the best my voice could get before recording the last part of the episode but uh, i hope it's not too much of a distraction probably not as much of a distraction as all of these dogs barking I, why, why did i have why do i have so many dogs i, I don't know i don't know why but uh, we do so we have to house them all got all my doggos on the beacon here but uh, we do have one lone doggo all the way out here let's go ahead and pick you up too and Let's be on our way, bud. We gotta get out of here. We gotta take you guys home. There are so many, so many dogs following me through this town. This is, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. All right, you guys are home. Let's, uh, let's start sitting these buds down in here. And let's, you know what? Let's go upstairs too. Let's get some puppies in the second floor. Oh God, I'm falling. This is hectic. This is way too hectic. Let's go upstairs to the second floor. Maybe even the third floor. Some puppies can hang out. Let's get up here, guys. Where are the puppies at? Oh God, I can hear puppies falling. This is bad. Puppies, sit down. Puppy sit down, puppy sit down. I'm on the third floor here, waiting for some puppies to go. Oh, we got a puppy. Come on, guys. Get up on the third floor here. Just waiting for a couple of... Yes, let's go. We got third floor puppies. I can still hear puppies falling, but it's all in the good name of the third floor puppies. Now that we got all of the dogs in place, we got all the composers with the bushes here. Everything's looking nice and fancy. I think the one last thing we needed to do was go ahead and actually start planting some trees around. It's so barren. It's barren everywhere around this field. There is nothing here. I took all the trees out. We took everything out, and two times, maybe five times over. It was a lot. We took out trees so many different times. On stream, we have gone over here and gotten so much wood. Get a birch tree going right here, or we can run over this way and get a birch tree going right here, and then run over this way and get a big old jungle tree going right here. That's a good one. Run over this way, get another big old jungle tree going. This is good. Bone meal the ground. We are all good, and we are all A-OK. -okay. Actually, wait, let's get rid of this creeper grass, and then we're all A-OK. -okay. And I am loving this build, especially with the new jungle in the background, but one last thing that I was noticing is that the, the texture. It's a little off. I'm going to start taking a couple of these out, maybe moving this here, maybe moving one down here. We're just going to replace it with the deep slate bricks. I've used all deep slate tile bricks on this, and I didn't really realize that I didn't do much texturing at all. So we're just going to go in here, replace a couple of these with the bricks every now and then, and it'll just it'll add a lot more depth and a lot more texture to the build. That is going to be it though today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode. The dog sanctuary is fantastic. I am so happy the dogs have a place to live now. It, it was fun. It's fun building all these on the streams with you guys. Again, thanks for coming to the streams. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for joining the Patreon if you did. Thanks for joining the Discord if you did as well. We have a huge community growing in the Discord right now, so feel free to join. All, the, all of those links are down below. Yeah, anyways, guys, episode 13 is coming out very soon. I'll see you guys in a few days, and just take care of yourselves. Bye!